Okay. Today we're going to practice sending our dog to climb from further distances. So we've already worked on asking our dog to climb before we move towards the bed with them. Good girl. But now what I want to see is my dog start to go away from me and towards the climb with more independence and a bit further away. So I am going to start close to the bed when I begin this process. Dusty. I'm going to give the command first. We want that one-two combo. So I'm going to say climb and then turn and face the bed. Yes. Good girl. Then, because I don't want to have to move too much around so I can remember my footing and my spacing from the bed, I'm going to tell her get it and let her go chase a piece of food across the room. Took an extra step away from the bed this time. Climb. And I turn and face the bed. Yes. Very good. Get it. Next step away. Climb. Yes. Good girl. Get it. <laughs> Good girl. Get it. All right, let's try another. Climb. So she got hung up. What I'm going to do is look past her and towards the bed and see if she figures it out. Take one step closer. I did not reward that repetition. Climb. Yes. Let's just start by backing up a step. Get it. Now I'm going back to my previous area. Oh my goodness, she escaped. All right, let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, come here. Climb. Yes. Excellent. Good girl. Good girl. Get it, get it. All right, let's do one more step. Give her a big, big send off. Climb. Yes, oh, there was already a treat there. Excellent, girl. Get it. Done. Oh, Gertie, get it. <laughs> so if we want to build our dog's independence, problem solving skills, and teach them to go to their climb with a little more distance away from us. They're gonna beat us there. We don't have to walk all the way to the climb in order to put our dog in position. What you wanna do is slowly increase your distance and try to minimize your body language. You say the cue, and then you simply turn and point in that direction with your whole body. Not literally point with your hand, but point with your eyes and your body. I want the dog to be able to read what's happening there. <laughs> Goodness gracious, we're having a great time. And that is your send to climb practice.